In this animated presentation, we will look at how to overhaul typical car steering system. We will go through removal, disassembly, inspection, repair or replace the parts and finally installation after reassembling. Remove lower bolt of steering's lower shaft coupling. Remove cotter pins and tie rod castle nuts from both knuckles then disconnect tie rod ends from knuckles. Remove steering gear case mount bolts and then remove steering gear case mount brackets along with rubber shock absorbing mounts. As the bolt connecting the steering lower shaft coupling and pinion is already removed, slightly lower the rack and pinion assembly and then remove the whole assembly by drawing it out sideways. Count the number of threads or mark and measure tie rod end lock nuts. Then loosen this lock nuts and remove tie rod ends. Next, remove the boot clamps and then remove the boots. Unbend, the bent part of tie rod lock washers and remove tie rods from the steering rack. Also, remove the tie rod lock washers. Next thing to come out is rack damper screw followed by rack plunger spring and the rack plunger. Unscrew the pinion bearing plug the remove gear case oil seal and o-ring. Then remove pinion along with its bearing that will be removed later. After that pull out the pinion needle bearing from the gear case. Remove the rack from the gear case. Finally, remove the snap ring that holds the rack bushing to complete the disassembly. Inspect rack plunger spring for deterioration. If any kind of damage, rust or wear is found or if the spring coils are not allowing the spring to compress smoothly and then regain its original shape, then it is better to replace the spring with new one. Inspect rack plunger for wear or damage. If found defective, replace. Inspect teeth surface of steering pinion for wear or damage. Inspect oil seal and o-ring for any sign of leakage and damage. It is much better to replace such cheap parts no matter if they found in good condition. Check rotation condition of bearing and inspect for wear. If found defective, replace. Inspect rack bushing for wear or damage. If found defective, replace. Inspect for deflection, teeth wear or teeth damage. Also rack surface to be inspected for wear or damage. Now, place the rack over V-blocks and set up the dial indicator as shown. Rotate the rack one complete turn and note the dial reading. If reading exceeds 0.35 mm then rack is not straight and need to be replaced. The first thing to ensure is the boot over the ball joint should not be damaged because it protects the joint from environmental contamination such as dust and moisture and it also acts as flexible lubrication housing filled with grease for ball joint. Next, check the threads for any kind of damage repair or replace the damaged part. Now, move the joint to ensure free rotation of the ball joint without any jamming. If too much effort is required for movement, then the whole joint is good candidate for replacement. Apply grease lightly to entire inner surface of bushing then press fit bushing as far into rack housing. Afterwards, install the snap ring. Apply grease to entire teeth surface of steering rack and its periphery. Slide steering rack into steering gear case in the direction as shown. Apply grease to rollers of pinion needle bearing. Press fit pinion needle bearing into gear case. After press fitting, make sure that bearing rollers are installed properly. Apply grease to all around pinion teeth, bearing and gear case oil seal lip. Fill inside of pinion bearing plug with grease. Fit gear case oaring and groove of pinion bearing plug. Install pinion assembly and tighten pinion bearing plug to specified torque. Apply grease lightly to sliding part of plunger against rack. Tightening rack damper screw to the tightest point, then turn it back by between 0 and 90 degrees until smooth rotation of pinion and smooth movement of rack is achieved.
Tighten tie rod to specified torque. Then bend the lock washer as shown. Partially fill the inside of the boot with grease then position boot properly over gear case and tie rod, and then make sure that clamps are tightened firmly. Ensure that boot is free from twist and bent. Position the tie rod and lock nut as per marking or measurement made during removal. Tighten the castle nut to specified torque. Be sure that steering wheel and brake discs are all straight ahead driving state. Then, tighten steering lower shaft bolts to specified torque.